I'm Mrs. Giles. Today we're going to look at acid, acid disposal. When we replace an acid, we always will do it accordingly to the company's policy. I'm going to give you an example here of a vehicle that we're going to sell. Uh, the transaction sold delivery van 425,000 on the 30th of 2020. The reason is because we are paying uh, a lot for maintenance on the vehicle and also because it's heavy on fuel. Now what happened here is that we purchased this vehicle uh, in 2018. But the policy is that we would replace the vehicle every five years. But why did we decide not to wait for five years? Because of the additional cost, because of the vehicle that is not, um, you can either say in a good condition or gives us a lot of problems. Uh, we uh, are looking at our vehicle account, 630,000. We have two vans. The one we purchased on the 1st of March 2017 for 220,000. And the other one we purchased on the 1st of March 2018 uh, for 350,000. If you look at your balances on the 20, uh, on March the 1st, 2020, you will see the total amount reflects the two vehicles. Don't forget, when you look at your vehicle account, it is always at cost price. Accumulated depreciation on vehicle, the total written off up to the 1st of March, March 2020 was 316,000. So if you worked it out per vehicle, you will find that on the one vehicle, the vehicle that we purchased in 2016, we have already written off 176,000 and on the second vehicle, 140,000. Right, let's have a look at the entries we're going to make when we dispose of this vehicle. Uh, one thing I haven't mentioned is that we write off depreciation using the straight line method at 20% per year. Now remember, when you dispose of any asset, there are certain information that we need to record so to remove the acid out of our books. This is very important that you understand how to remove the vehicle totally from your books. If you look at the vehicle account, you have two uh, vehicles in this account. What is very important here is that we always record the vehicles at cost price. So whatever you entered in this account, you're not going to change. You're going to keep it at cost price. And that's our matching, uh, that's our principle regarding the historical cost price of assets. If you look at your cumulative depreciation, you will see that you've got a total of all the accumulated depreciation that you've already written off over the years. So what happens when you get rid of one of your vehicles? This is where you must follow three steps to ensure that you do it correctly. The first step is update your depreciation on vehicle two. Remember now, we're going to sell vehicle two. This is the vehicle we're going to sell because of problems that we experienced with the vehicle. So give us a right of depreciation when? Normally we do it at the end of the financial year, but we sold the vehicle 
on the 30th of November 2020. That means during the financial year. So your first step is to update your depreciation. How are you going to calculate it? You take the cost price, not of the two vehicles, only the one that you're going to sell. Vehicle number two, 350000 cost price. You times it by 20%. You work out end of uh, November. So that means you kept the vehicle for nine months from March to November. So you will write off pro rata depreciation and the amount is 52,500. So you will make your normal entries, that is uh, accumulated depreciation uh, on vehicles. You will credit, remember it's a negative asset. You will increase this negative asset by uh, crediting it with the pro rata depreciation 52,500. And you will open a depreciation account and you, because it's an expense, you will debit it with 52,500. Step two, what are we going to do now? We're going to open a special account, which we call asset disposal account. It tells you exactly what you want to achieve with this account. You want to dispose of your asset. Where is the asset currently? The asset is currently in the vehicle account, but also in the accumulated depreciation on vehicle account. Don't forget, these two accounts are holding hands. If you want to look at the book value of the asset, you're going to look at your vehicle account, the cost price, and you're going to look at the accumulated depreciation that you have already written off during the use or over the years that you have used the vehicle. So here, first of all, don't forget, we have two vehicles in this account. You're not getting rid of both vehicles. You're only going to sell the vehicle that you've paid 350000 for. So therefore, November 30th, vehicle, I will explain just now. Right. I'm going to Remember now, I'm, I've created a special account. I'm going to transfer the vehicle from this account to this account. How do I do it? By decreasing my vehicles with 350,000 and transferring it to the asset disposal. Now let's look at the asset disposal account. Remember, you always identify your account. So asset disposal account, what did we transfer into this account? We've transferred an asset. Therefore, this account is an asset. And an asset is always plus minus. Now look at this. Our vehicle account decreased because we have taken one vehicle out. Our asset disposal account increased because now we put the vehicle into the asset disposal account. Let's go back to our vehicle account. We had a total amount of 630000 now we've taken out 350,000. What is left? 220,000. And if you can remember, that is what we paid for the first vehicle. 
So this vehicle account will only show now the cost price of the one vehicle that we've got uh, left in our business. I also want to refer to the 125,000. We sold the vehicle for 125,000. Now, what's going to happen if you go to take the vehicle out at, co at selling price here? Then you will have a higher balance than what you have paid for the first vehicle. So it's very important that you remember to remove the total vehicle. You can't just remove the value of the, the say for instance, the tires. You must remove the whole vehicle to this account. Now, once you've done that, you're going to remove all the information regarding this vehicle from your accumulated depreciation on vehicle account. Why are you going to do it? Because you want to know what is the value of your vehicle in your books. And to be able to do that, don't forget your vehicles and your accumulated depreciation on vehicles are holding hands because you must look at both accounts to get the real value of your vehicles. So now we're going to calculate how much we must take out. Now we have already calculated over the years that vehicle two for two years at 70,000 rand per year, we have written off 140,000. And for this financial year, we have written off another 52,500. It gives you a total of 192,500. You're going to take this out of this account. And you're going to transfer it to the disposal account. Look what is very interesting here. Because it's going to decrease the value of your vehicles, you're going to put it on the minus side of this asset disposal account. What have we done with the asset disposal account? We have put all the information that we have on the vehicle in our books, we've transferred it to one account and we call it asset disposal. Why? Because now we're going to get rid of the vehicle. Once we have done that, the vehicle is no longer in our books. You can see here the vehicle account has decreased. With the cost price of the vehicle that you uh, sell it, accumulated depreciation on vehicle, you've decreased it by the total of the depreciation you've written off over the two years and nine months. Now, the next step is we're going to calculate whether we have made a profit or a loss on the disposal of uh, the, the, the well. So we're going to sell the vehicle and then we're going to determine whether we have made a profit or a loss. So remember now, step one, write off depreciation for the rata or for the year until you've sold the vehicle, so that means pro rata. Step two, transfer the cost price to the asset disposal account. Step three, transfer the total depreciation written off. Remember now, we're going to calculate how much depreciation we've written off over the two years, plus then the additional pro rata, that's your third step. Your fourth step is now to sell the vehicle so that you can work out the profit 
or the loss that you've made. We've sold the vehicle for 125,000, let's say it was for cash. Therefore, in your bank account, obviously it's an asset, you will increase your bank account. In your asset disposal account, you will credit your asset disposal. Why? Because look at this. You're getting rid of the vehicle. How do you get rid of the vehicle? By selling it. So you're taking it out of this account and you're giving it to the person. So when you close off this account, it should be zero. Look at this. What is the value of the vehicle that you uh, had during the use of this vehicle? Look at this. Your accumulated depreciation for the two years and nine months plus the amount of money that you received for the vehicle is the value of the vehicle. Now that value of the vehicle could be more than what you've paid or it could be less than what you have paid. So let's work it out. Because why do we want to calculate this? It's because you want to work out whether you've made a profit or a loss. Right. So it totals up to 317,500 that you paid. 350,000. So your value of your vehicle is less than what you have Paid. Okay. If I add the accumulated depreciation and the amount of money that I received, it's less than what we paid for the vehicle. So there I've got a calculation and it is 32,500 less. When you add this plus that, you only get 317,500 so you must add another 32,500 to get rid of the vehicle. Remember, the vehicle cost you 350,000. The total that you received for the vehicle or the value should be 350,000. So obviously, if you, the value of your vehicle, that's your accumulated depreciation plus what you received for the vehicle, is less than what you've paid, you've obviously made a loss on sale of assets. Now, let's look at the loss on sale of assets. If you've credited this account, you will have to, let's have a look, loss on sale of asset account. A loss will be an expense and the expense is always a minus. So you will put 32,500 on this side, it's a loss. 